YouTube land, what's up? It's your girl, Makar, from Cougar's Closet. How y'all feeling? So listen, y'all, today I am in my high priestess energy, right? And so with my high priestess energy, this is bringing on lots of high depth information and digital downloads and a newer way of critiquing and understanding and solving things. It's just, it's critical. So with me being in my high priestess energy, that made me have to go into the lab. I'm in the lab more often days because I'm getting a better, higher understanding. So let me grab the things that I need. Okay, so let me tell y'all how this even came about, right? How this got started. Okay, so it was like this. I was looking through my Zodiac book for um, words I've never seen before or words I don't know the meaning of because I am higher learning. I'm in my high priestess energy. And so I opened up the book and I didn't see anything that popped up out of me. So I said, well... Now I don't see nothing. But then I opened the book and I went back and I flipped through it and I found a word. And I've never seen the word before. I've never heard of it before. And I said, okay, I'll take you. So the word, and let me say this. The word, um... I forgot what I was going to say, but anywho. So, the word dogmatic or whatever, it's, uh, it's headed, it's, it's for a certain group of, 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 uh, zodiacs. It said it was the con of one of the zodiac signs, but I didn't want to say which one, because I really, you know, didn't want to get into that, because this was, this here was sent from the anonymous uh, Zodiac Association is download. And so they didn't tell me to sign. But they said that I needed to get on the microphone and talk about dogmatic. Have you ever heard of the word dog dogmatic? Never heard of it. But somebody has to get this treatment today. Alright. What is a dogmatic person like? Dogmatism is defined as avoidance from accepting others' beliefs, ideas, and behaviors. Dogmatic individuals have many problems in understanding new ideas. They cannot accept reasonable ideas instead of their incorrect ideas. They do not cooperate with others with different ideas. So I guess that told me enough to do my research. But that's what it said a dogmatic person was. So, so, I know it said this, that it's this group of people that's, you know, out of my, out of my astrology chart, it said that a group of my people were dogmatic. So, 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 I'm here to work on you and wake you up about this dogmatic word because uh, I've been informed that this dogmatic word is the thing that's hindering you from getting your blessing. So, so with the dogmatic form, let me tell you how you are. You like something that was popping in 1972 and everybody was on it, you was popping. But you never... Uh, elevated, you never uh, growed, you never changed, you, you never stepped up and made yourself a asset to the company, you, you never fully got developed, you, you never did finish the task at hand, you never did finish the job, you just walked off from it. So like if you're not reinventing yourself and changing, how are you going to change? 
So you got this 1972 piece that was doing this thing back then, but it's not doing this thing now because we in 2022 and you in your head think that this same state, the same thing still popping. It would if you would upgrade it. It would if you would get with others and converse and share ideas with others. It would if you sneak around and peep some little ideas that you like and take them and mix them up like like a reboot, a revise, if, if you know what I'm saying. And so, like, it's like you live a, a comfortable life, whoever I'm talking to, and you are the boss or the queen of the empire and everybody knows this. And everywhere you go, everybody knows this. Like, they notice you're a queen, but it's like, with all due respect, you're an older queen. But there's newer queens coming. So if you don't reinvent yourself or find ways to believe in some of the things other people believe in, I'm not saying all the things, but the things that benefit you on a financial and, and an intelligent level then you could get somewhere because it's like whoever I'm uh getting this from is very egotistic is it, is very um you know ego yeah whatever but this is what's hindering you from getting more Like, you would like to upgrade, and you can upgrade, but whoever whoever these people is, you too lazy to upgrade. But you want it. Make that make sense. How's that going to happen? Dogmatic is what we're talking about here. It said it's a certain group, the, the Zodiac Annihilation, the Cinemation, sent a download saying that I needed to talk to you all, whoever this group of people is that got this dogmatic attitude. Because the dogmatic getting them dogged out of a lot of things. So that's... Yeah, let me get back on... Not YouTube. Let me get back on that. No, no, I don't want no copyrights. Y'all lately this thing been doing what it want to do. Okay, let me see if I can find anything. A dogmatic person is set to follow a set of rules no matter what. So that means you're not flexible. You're not bendable. Where are you going in this stiff box? Like, it, it, it's time for a reboot on yourselves. Y'all out here invested in this and invested in that and invested in this and invested in that. Well, you need to invest in your mind. Let's see. So, dogmatic versus pragmatic. Hell, I don't even know what pragmatic is. In many cases, pragmatic is all about being practical. Oh, I know about practical. While dogmatic refers to someone sticking to certain rules. So, if you don't bend and twist and wiggle a little bit, how do you upgrade the 1972 formula? How do you do it? I found something. What are, what are the pros and cons of being dogmatic? I'm just going to read... Uh, I don't know what I'm going to read. I'm not going to be on here long. Let me see. Dogmatic. I've never heard of that word. Oh, it's loading. We're loading. Being dogmatic frees you from searching and validating the truth and its ensuing responsibility. In other words, you adapt a whole set of rules and a mindset hoping it's right. If you'd ever be dogmatic to be wrong, you can always claim that it wasn't your idea after all. So, 
there's just a lot of things to come with being dogmatic. It sounds like people that are dogmatic, they're in their own illusion. And and that's what's stopping them from getting to getting to the dream, the illusion. You 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 don't know how to separate a, a, a illusion from a fantasy or nor a fantasy from a dream. You losing, baby, because it's all your way. You ain't going to upgrade unless you conversing and talking to different people. You ain't going to upgrade unless you got a pen and a piece of paper in your hand and researching and, and, and here and there. You ain't going to upgrade keeping all your secrets to yourself, not telling nobody not how to do nothing or not show nobody how to do nothing. If you got a fee, let it be known, baby. Get the money and lay the education out there. But this dogmatic attitude you got dogging me around gonna stop. So, so, th th this concludes my segment of dogmatic. Never heard it before. You heard that dogmatic word before? I, I, like I said, I'm in my high priestess energy. So I gotta find out, I mean, what's, what's further going on up there? Ugh. Oh, it is.